Hello, what's up guys? I hope you're well. I certainly am. And welcome to today's video. So today we're going to be playing Country Streaks on a Diverse World. I for one love watching other people's videos and listen to them talk and listen to their explanations. It's a good way to relax and unwind and also to see some interesting beautiful places around the world. We will do no moving but we can uh, look around and zoom. So let's get into it. So here in the first round, um, seeing something that looks quite European, possibly uh, Czechia, and uh, I start looking around for clues. Um, the sign, the license plate is European Union with the blue stripe there, and um, I think I spend quite a lot of time looking around, just getting my getting my bearings. I try to read that sign in the background, but I can't make anything out. Um, so for a lot of these uh, rounds, I'm going to speed it up just for your convenience. Uh, after I spend enough time agonizing over uh, where to go. But I'm just thinking this looks like Czechia. So I go Czechia and I'm thinking based on uh, the looks, it's North Czechia, I'm correct. Not that it matters, uh, we're not going for a score. Round two, um, I zoom in on this horse, try to read the license plate. I cannot decipher the license plate on the horse, um, but uh, it's uh, quite clear we're in uh, some Arabic country, I'm thinking either Jordan or Tunisia. Then I see the flag, Tunisia it is, by the sea, and I just uh, try to plop it there, and it's the right country, about 100 k's out, and we go to the third round. The third round, um, I spend a lot of time agonizing over this, because the hills look Colombian, the trucks look South American, the yellow license plate on this Jeep would tell me it's Colombia, but then this car, this van doesn't have a yellow license plate or I can't see it well. Um, the general architecture could be Mexico, could be Colombia. Um, yeah, see, I'm looking at the plate there, and uh, if I'm missing any other clues, probably the Google color is not Mexican, but I can't really tell them apart that well. Uh, so I check this sign. The back of the signs in Colombia often have a cross. The, the structure that holds it, the construction, is a cross, and that one doesn't have a cross. So I'm thinking, Probably not Colombia. Uh, so I end up going for Mexico. And plop. And it was Colombia. So, oh well, you know, two rounds. <laughs> let's do another. Let's. So off we, off we start another game. Another seed, hoping for a good seed. Uh, first thing that greets me is this steaming pile of cow poo. So I'm thinking this could be. First, thought, my first thought was South Africa, but I see the pole, and. I'm thinking, is this Brazil? And that pole looks Brazilian, so I'm just gonna go Brazil. Come on, click. And that is correct. So we are off to a good start. Not so poop after all. So 
So this one is clearly Africa, based on the people, the architecture, the clothes, and clearly the red um, soil. Now, for some reason, I'm just trying to read signs and see a lot of English, which um, could be uh, several countries, including South Africa, but this doesn't look South African. It looks a lot more tropical. And just reading uh, all, all the, the, the words, trying to see if there is a place name or a country name, being completely oblivious to the uh, police car in the background, that one there, um, which is typical for Nigeria, that follows the Google car. So I just go to Nigeria. I try to be fancy and find, try to decide where it is. Not that it matters, it's just a bit of fun. And obviously I don't go near, nowhere near, but um, I've got the country right. So yeah, we go on to the next one. Here we see flat, flat land, kind of grey looking soil, um, but uh, fairly green countryside. The sun is clearly in the north as well, so plus this gate that looks very sort of uh, Latin American, Spanish, so all these clues point me to Argentina and I'm trying to see where do I go in Argentina I think maybe a bit more to the north because it's green even more and should have gone a lot more but that's fine we still get the country right I've never been to Argentina obviously so uh, a thousand kilometers is quite a lot. Okay, so here I'm trying to see the language, can't really decipher anything. That one says welcome. Uh, it does look like Southeast Asia. Um, looking at it now I see the clues much clearer. There's just a lot of kids which is quite cool. Maybe it's a school trip. I also examined the Google car, uh, which didn't tell me much, I think. Uh, yeah, I need to really learn the Google car uh, data. But um, I see these posters on the trees, and those are typical for Philippines. Uh, they're often political posters. Um, but the biggest clue here is, and I can't believe I haven't noticed it yet, uh, my past self, is the concrete road. So see the slabs or the, the, the breaks in concrete. Concrete roads are typical for Philippines. So I'm going to speed it up here and go Philippines. Speeding it up. Okay, make up your mind, buddy. Make up your mind. Not that it matters. And Philippines is right, so I'm quite pleased because I got four, which I think was my best up until now. And I'm wondering, what is that? That's like a police siren just randomly there. I don't know, it looks like a French flag, obviously it's not France. So I'm thinking here, Japan, first I'm thinking Taiwan because of the uh, black and yellow uh, stripes on the post, but in Taiwan they go all the way to the ground. Whereas I'm thinking, okay, oh, it must be Japan. But the problem is, in Japan you're driving on the left, here we are driving on the right. Uh, I forget 
where they drive in Taiwan. I think it is on the right, but I'm just getting confused. It doesn't really strike me as Taiwan with this kind of a... Uh, the, 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 the nature isn't lush, but those poles, those black and yellow signs just throw me off and I go Taiwan and wah, 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 wah. it is South Korea. So there was this round. I, I'm glad that it was the first round because it was the weirdest one that I've seen so far. It completely surprised me. Um, this whole time, I'm thinking, this is somewhere in Europe, some weird writing, and what in the world is this building? What, what's the roof? Then there's a burnt out, uh, some kind of electrical, something um the trees are weird they look almost i don't know Mediter not mediterranean but they look like and this whole time i'm thinking we're in europe right um obviously i don't recognize the bollards which is probably what i should what I should have. But anyway, I'll speed this up because I go for North Macedonia and where is it? Malaysia. I cannot believe my eyes. So that's a really, really bad guess. Um, so I think I deserve now some good seed i think we're gonna get it get a good run now so let's see how we go okay so here we are blocked in europe with some uh pretty neat houses uh, my first impression is probably uh netherlands and i'm trying to find any more clues because could it be England? No, that sign is clearly Dutch. And I'm just plop one in, I'm gonna plop one in Netherlands. I don't know why I'm trying to pinpoint. This is no, no real point to that, but uh, here I am uh, getting the first one in. Bing! Round two gives me this landscape. Immediately I'm thinking this is the Adriatic coast because of the islands and because of the uh, the steep uh, slopes that are typical also for Norway but completely different uh, vegetation. So this is much more dry, much more warm area what i'm reading here is trying to decipher what it says all i can see is something like marinic uh marinic which could be croatian i'm thinking croatia this whole time um and then i get confused because this whole time i'm thinking um looking uh uh, uh this the ocean the water is on the the south uh, or southwest as uh, the the Croatian Adriatic coast is, but then I get really confused because it is the wrong side. It should be on the on should be on the other side. See, here I am, I've, I haven't realized it yet, but I'm um, just thinking, yeah, it should be somewhere along these, um, along this coast. So 
So I'm thinking that bridge, could that be that bridge? Are we here? That would check out, that would look pretty all right. And then I try to align it and I notice the I noticed the, the directions south that way. I thought that that way is north. So I'm very confused here and I'm thinking this can't be. So I start scanning. I start scanning whether it is actually on one of those islands. So the ocean that we see is indeed to the right uh, or to the east or northeast. So this this is uh, quite a frustrating um, search, so I'll speed this up. For a moment I'm considering Greece there oh, for quite a while, but I'm thinking, no, this is not Greece. Uh, could this be somewhere like Albania? The coast coastline is similar indeed, but I'm, I'm looking basically for north east facing coastline where it could be uh, but no such luck so fast forward a little more until i just go you know what i can't be anywhere else i'm just gonna go croatia bugger it so i plop it and I'm really pleased because it is the right country. Wrong place though, but right country. And it's in, it's in this inlet that I completely neglected to look at. I was looking around there, but we got the country right and boom, we're on a roll. So here, um, I'm just gonna I'm really sick of looking at this point because uh, the Croatian round got me got me good and I thought this is Argentina check the Sun was Argentina boom on to the next one the GeoGuessr gods gave me a good one here quite easy um, it is South Africa the yellow outside line uh, along the right hand side the signs, the green signs with um, South African sounding names and the red arrows are also typical for South Africa. So I'm just, uh, and other side of the country, but um, I'm still looking for that town but I don't really care, it's the right country, we're playing country streaks, on to the next one, can I get five? So here I see yellow license plates in the, on the back, white on the front, um, a lot of brick, this H sign is quite typical for England, humps for 360 yards are also typical for England because there's always humps for at least 360 yards in England. Don't know why. There is the library and the fishmonger and I don't know what, I'm, what else I'm trying to prove here or look for. Just wasting time clearly. And here I see Suffolk Coastal Services um, I don't even really know where Suffolk is. I'm thinking maybe there. It's on the east coast, but we got the country right. So uh, here we go. We've done. We've done it five. So can we repeat this? Can we do another five? Is the big question. And. Here we are in uh, clearly now 
European place. Günstige Tanken is German. And I'm thinking, okay, okay, it's German. And there is blur. But are we in Germany? No. The, the landscape looks like potentially Austria or Liechtenstein or Switzerland. So I'm going to spend a lot of time here trying to figure out, get it right. I know we're in a German speaking place. There's a yellow license plate, plate there. What does that mean? Uh, is this Liechtenstein inst indeed? But the other license plates are white. Um, then there is that car has some French colors on it. I don't know. Then there is the uh, this Olympica again. I'm stumped. Garage, carrosserie, centre. So it's in English. It's in French. Um, it's German, and I'm. Um, then I notice also that the uh, the camera angle, the camera height, is quite low, which is typical for Switzerland. So after some more painful s scrolling and panning and zooming, um, I just decide to go with. Switzerland. And da da Switzerland it is. So I'm really happy about this. I got six in a row. That's better than I ever got. And uh on to the next one. So here I'm being a little uh, hesitant and kind of trying to get my bearings trying to see do these cars have two blue stripes I mean the license plates which would indicate Italy that one definitely has and it's a Fiat and then I see Italian so, Villa Clara and all the other things, Italy, Plop, I'm not even going to bother with any pinpointing because I'm just on a roll now. Okay, on to the next one, which is testing me, testing me. Um, Senegal and, first I'm thinking Wellington, but no, it's Arlington. And... I completely miss that. I'm check checking for the sun. Sun is in the north. Uh, so um, Arlington sounds like a place in South Africa and Senegal. So the landscape does check out, and I completely miss that stop uh, writing on the road, which is also typical. But. Um, bit hesitant here but still pretty confident that it's South Africa so I um, plop one there I go there and then the right country So I'm happy about that and we're going for nine and again the gods are not crazy this time quite uh, nice it's Kenya because of the Google car that was so obvious you can't not see it and here we go for ten so here we go I see Petrozavodsk and Sankt Peterburg, Peterburg. Peterburg. I don't know how to pronounce it. I can barely read Cyrillic, but I know we're in Russia. The road markings and the layout confirms it, but St. Petersburg, that's 
uh, a clear, clear indication, and I'm very happy. I know I'm gonna get ten, and I'm trying to find the uh, find the right intersection. Uh, I'm thinking it'll be quite a, a big one, significant one. I don't know why, because it's unnecessary and it takes time. So, but I want to get fancy. But not too fancy, so I'll go, oh, bugger that, let's just plop one there, who cares? Come on already. And it's somewhere completely different, but the right country, and we got 10. And I'm super stoked, I'm super happy about this. Can we get 15? That's the dream. I'll check whether I'm recording, which would have really sucked if I wasn't, because that was my best game. And it's the Google car is a scooter. Um, and so I'm trying to see where where we are. Uh, I'm trying to read these. Obviously, we seem like it seems like we're in Southeast Asia based on the architecture. And based on the flag, it's Indonesia. So there's more flags and the black license plate on that car. So I'm thinking we're doing great. I'll just plop it on Sumatra and it's even the right island. So go us, we have 11 going for 12. Now I see Kyovik and Minnesund. I see yellow line in the uh, middle, the inside line. Um, and the architecture is Nordic. Uh, I would even say seems like Norway. The yellow line confirms it. The O with the line through it confirms it. I'm just gonna go Norway and oh, at first I think I start looking for the uh, road 33 just to make sure that we're not in somewhere else uh, so I'm gonna speed this bit up because I don't find a 33 but I'm just gonna plop it Go on, go on, you can do it, boom, Norway, go give up, and we indeed are in Norway, quite ways away, but it's okay, and we're going for 13, lucky 13, so here, I'm wondering, what's, what's this, uh, something, country, Fair, tickets, English, language everywhere. And it's funny, like looking at it now, it's clear, but I was like, okay, these signs are North American. Are we in Canada or are we in USA? Um, I see some evergreens, uh, which could indicate, obviously, could be in USA obviously but good in Canada like this ground is the soil is dry and I wonder whether it's like cold dry or warm dry um, but in the end I decided that this just does not look like Canada at all and just gonna go with USA and quite far away from where I thought it was. Did not look like Washington, but obviously it was. And that gives us 13. Now 14, this round was tough. See that it's 2021. So it's the new, see the Google 2021 on the photo, the, the watermark. Um, now I see a yellow sign there, a yellow license plate there, 
uh, and then a lot of white ones and I cannot tell what it is um, I spend a lot of time agonizing over this round so I'm gonna make this go quicker uh, but in the end it was this bollard that gave it away the white bollard with a yellow middle and the orange salmon what color is that pink uh, band around the top is Denmark is a Danish bollard I wasn't quite sure I think I remembered that or I think I remember seeing that um, so I mean the traffic kind of uh, was kind of heavy so we're near a big city it's a flat land it's looking quite northern so I guess all those all those clues led me to go for Denmark and here we go for the round 15 for the magical number I don't know if it's magical, but it's magic. And this round got me really... I, I, this took me so long. Again, I'm not gonna agonize over it, but I'm thinking, where are we? Um, I'm looking at the license plates. I'm looking at the style of cars. There's a there's a Volkswagen, there's a Renault, there's a Volvo. These I was wondering what about these um, stone walls? What is that typical for? I realize we're in the dead center of the city dead center of the town but uh, yeah I'm not very familiar with this with this architecture I'm wondering where could this be um, I'm considering so many different things I'm considering Romania even but then those um, the letterboxes there they don't feel like Romanian um, in retrospect, I didn't really, uh, yeah, it's hard. Maybe this is so obvious to someone, but not to me. I'm even thinking, is this France? Because France can have weird places. Is this Belgium? It's flat. The houses definitely don't look Belgian. That little house in the middle with those windows uh, lined with white outlines, it's like Nordic, but then the other houses don't look like, I'm even like, is this Iceland? But clearly can't be. So anyway, after long, painful deliberation, um, looking at the houses, the windows, just trying to get that feel, um, Obviously the church, what kind of architecture is that? I don't see any writing, any, it just doesn't feel so familiar. So in the end, I just go for a really dumb guess and plop it in the Netherlands, which I know is wrong. But I just had to put it somewhere. And it's Sweden. So I don't get to 15, but I'm quite happy with the 14. And next target, 20. So thank you for watching. Subscribe, stick around. Fingers crossed, we're getting 20 next time. Till later.